right, you guys. <laughs> I'm not sure if these two videos are gonna be back to back, but I have a sudden burst of energy and uh, you guys have seen my recent Amazon Japan hurl. I just filmed it. Pretend I've had a fabulous costume change. Wait, look, I can do this. Although it drives me crazy, I'm almost tempted to like knock the fake plastic out of these frames. These are so hard, I feel like, to film in. Unless I'm outside. Sometimes that works, but I just feel like it's so distracting maybe to see like glares on the lenses. So I'm just gonna keep looking like a mess. When I say bananas, you say peppers. And um, you guys, if y'all watched my recent super quick Amazon Japan hurl, y'all know that I recently got a bunch of different gash pond. I got four different gash pond sets to unbox with you guys and we're gonna do two of them today because I don't I feel like these are gonna be super fast and these are maybe gonna be like semi fast let's do these first you guys like I don't know if you guys are like this but I'm sure I'm sure you are I'm sure it's just like a regular normal kind of boring human thing but sometimes I will have like the most inconsequential random items that I own or I've bought or I've recently seen and they'll just like be a major component of like dreams that I will have. I swear I bought these and then I saw them the other day again. I was, I was shopping on Amazon Japan again and they came up in my like you've recently ordered these and I think I think they were just like floating around in my brain. So these are supposed to be miniature barcode scanners. Like a lot of times these gash pond will be super realistic to like certain brands or like certain models of things that maybe like mean more if you live in Japan. Why do they have four super similar um scanners i don't know uh there is a clear pull tab on the side hopefully y'all can see that i'm filming with my backup camera today which i feel like in some ways it has superior quality and then in some ways i feel like maybe it doesn't like focus on objects as well are any of these gonna work i don't know i think that these actually came um not from amazon japan directly but it's like you know how there there will be like secondary sellers or whatever um i think it was like that you guys so i don't know how old these are these may not be like brand new gash pond sets i think that that's maybe even why they're like wrapped up like this so you guys let's go ahead and test out the other gray one now it does not appear like you can switch the batteries so I was really hoping to use this like as a little prop in um like future TikToks and stuff because I swear I thought that the listing said it actually does shoot like a little red light or something like it lights up I think it was supposed to have lights and sound um and they do all no oh my gosh you guys i don't know how much of this original unboxing segment to cut out of this video you guys i have good news they all work so when i unboxed these the other day i was like oh i didn't hear any sounds i didn't see any lights and i was really bummed out did y'all hear that it's very very faint so anyway I was done like filming this unboxing video with y'all and I was actually trying to film a really cute little unboxing of the toy camera that I showed you guys I got also from Amazon Japan and I was trying to do like a little unboxing for my daily Snapchat story and I thought it would be really cute as I was filming it. There was like a barcode on the back of this item so for that like little daily snap thing, I was gonna see if I could at least like make the video look cuter and I thought like maybe try and like edit in a sound effect or whatever. Um, so as I was holding it down, you guys, I was so shocked. Cause look, okay, you have to hold it down for like many, many seconds, but watch this. Did y'all hear that? It's so faint. So this one, which is my favorite one, definitely does work. I mean, if you just push it and you think it's going to work immediately, it doesn't. You have to hold down the button for several seconds. First you get the light and then I feel like a second or so later you finally get the beep. But this one lights up, doesn't beep. Let's, let's 
onto this one. I think the rest of them work 100%. Yep. Did y'all see that? And then this one. Ooh, sometimes the beeps, you guys, so faint. Anyway, very good news, because I was like, ah, uh, it kind of made me like rethink like buying Gash Pond sets like this that are from a secondary seller on Amazon Japan. Um, this was like kind of my first like negative experience, I thought, with that, but I just don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, good experience after all. Very happy that they all work. Now back to the rest of the video. Onto these, which I don't really think have any sounds or lights to them. Obviously they don't. They are cassettes. Yes, um, mini cassettes. And I actually got these to do a little bit of a DIY because I decided I wanted to make myself like the ultimate clockwork orange keychain. These kind of reminded me of the little mini cassette uh, that's Beethoven. So I'm gonna try and make my own like custom sticker for it and um, at least use one of them. In the movie, it's a yellow cassette. So if there's a yellow cassette in here, oh, you guys, this is gonna be so much fun. Guys, I'm not even gonna show you guys the pamphlet this time because I feel like that will give away the magical colorways that I just discovered. Um, I honestly kind of wish that we would have seen like cassettes like kind of come back in the same way that like vinyls have kind of come back and are still popular. I mean, I feel like there's plenty of people in this world that collect vinyls, but not as much as cassettes. I really loved cassettes like growing up. I thought that that was just the most magical thing um, that I could just record anything I heard on the radio. So you guys look at this these almost remind me of like a remint set where these don't pull apart let's just cut here you guys I feel like yeah this is not ripping but I feel like I need to actually look into either like a scissor sharpening service or like some kind of home gadget because I do oh my god you guys this is like I wish that they kind of still made these so I could buy like a replacement pair. This is like one of the goofiest random things I've ever bought on Amazon, but I've used them so much over the years. <gasps> that just made a spooky sound um, that I wish I had gotten another pair. They're like, they're dull. They're dull from me using them for so many years because I do really use them. They, they are definitely not the most efficient or easiest way to ever cut anything in your life. Um, but they sure are strange. I really was not expecting this level of magic. And this is pretty cool because these are, oh, they're dupes. You guys, I was about to say, this is so cool because I, I can't remember if it's Maxell or Maxwell. I think it's Maxwell. Maxell, what is that? The brand, is that still in business, you guys? Look, they did like a dupe of the brand. I don't think that that's how it's really spelled, but look at this. Oh my gosh. This camera does not like focusing on details and I simply do not know why. So you actually open it up and oh, that would have made it even more real. Maybe some of them have it, but you know where there was like the lined paper on the other side of a cassette, so like, if you made your own, you could like write the tracks and, and all that kind of magic. Um, but look at this, the little tiny um, cassette tape is like purple transparent. Oh my God, transparent tapes were my favorite. You guys, it's focusing on this section of my arm. Why? So look at how cute that is. And then you get the little ball chain. I don't see how to thread the case on here. Oh my God. Okay, so this is how the keychain works. So see how there's like a notch cut out of the top of the case here. So you have to thread the ring of the cassette through. You guys, I almost feel like I need to just take like other footage of this because I know this camera is gonna fight me the whole time. Um, so you got to thread the ring through there. You guys, this is gonna like confuse me. That's a little 
tricky, you guys. Um, so that's the only way, I guess, to um, get the cassette and the cassette case threaded through onto the actual keychain portion. You have to clip the cassette in there and then thread the ring through that little part. And then I'm going to have to thread the ball chain through that. Oh, okay. So that's to like clip it to your bag or your keys or whatever, I guess. You've got a claw clasp, a ring, a ball chain, the case, and the cassette. You guys, these are like detailed. I feel like that took like the entire length of time that it took me to unbox like the other four gash pawn just to do that one. What I like to imagine I can do is like print whatever design I want on a piece of paper, shrink it down, fold it up, and kind of make my own cassette art like I used to do back in the day when I would make cassettes. Um, although I feel like mostly I made mixed CDs. I mean, the art is just like kind of boring to me. It's just random, like generic stuff. So this is a um, black cassette with a red label. Very cute, very detailed. I don't remember how many were supposed to be in this listing. This one might be my best bet for my little um, Clockwork Orange project because it was a clear cassette with a yellow label. And this is a clear cassette with a blue label. I don't think I'm actually gonna try and do like custom art on the actual cassette because I feel like that would be like really difficult to make like a perfect little sticker. Now that's the only thing that would have made it like hyper hyper realistic is if you could actually like wind the tape on the inside like if the tape moved around that would be so cool. So I'll probably end up using this one for my project and this is so funny. I guess this like 100% confirms that they were just like coming up with like knockoff names because I literally thought that this had the Sony logo on it but it says so me. You guys, I wish y'all could see like where this camera was putting the little focus box because it's literally everything like my armpit, you guys. It's trying to focus on every single thing except for the thing I'm trying to show y'all. And then this has, I don't know what that is. Is that the moon? Is that a sea monkey? Suddenly I've really gotten into sea monkey lore. Ooh, you guys. Okay, so this is a knockoff of um, Fujifilm, which I don't know if I've ever seen a Fujifilm cassette in my life. I think Maxel or whatever was the blue cassettes I had when I was younger, but they were like a darker shade of blue. They were almost like a transparent royal blue. What is this, you guys? Is this a snowy forest? Like I literally cannot discern. Maybe they just kind of know that people like are gonna make their own case art and then this one looks like really kind of old school to me and you guys this is the last one we have a little mini gray or is this more like taupe i kind of can't tell what color this is it looks kind of gray to me right now um and then it has what is this oh i can tell what this is it's a beach a lovely beach scene oh tcb what are they what are they par parodying there, you guys? It keeps saying like I'm saying parroting. Some that I feel like were way more detailed and way more fun than I was even expecting. And some that were a little disappointing yet still cute. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know. Do you think these are adorable? Were you disappointed by the scanners? I don't know. Let me know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below, like always. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Peppers squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!